All right, welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain SiteWorks training videos. I got another video here I'm going to do where I'm going to show you how to put in what's called a measured offset as you're either shooting either single points or line strings. There's a, three different options I'm going to show you today. One is how to use TBC stakes, just like this one right here, as you can see. Their curb and gutter is already in, but I wanted to show you how if it wasn't in or you wanted to verify some stuff, you can go and shoot the actual pin. If you don't have a model already built, shoot the pin and put in the fill or cut offset in your shot without having to do the um, offset numbers in your head or edit the numbers later on. I'll also show you two other options that are coming up. What I'm gonna do right off the bat here, as you can see with this stake right here, this one is a fill of 135 to TBC. It's a two foot offset, not worried about the offset right this second. But there's an option if you have advanced measurements in your data collector that's kind of defaulted off. What I've done already is I've set up a site here because I haven't been on this project as my own design. In my change project, I've got the job site and I've got calibration. I'm gonna go ahead and put in um, TBC offsets as a work order so it keeps it clean, hit finish. I don't have a design. I'm gonna go ahead and start that up. There's a defaulted setting that's turned off inside your data collector here. If you go into your menu and go down to the settings tab, in here under the tab that's called measure, there's a bunch of information in here, but the one that I'm getting at right now is this measure offset that's set to de disabled. If you enable that and turn that on and hit accept, now inside your measure type, I call this icon the roller stuck in the mud, inside this icon right here, under point and new line, you have a new option here. You have a vertical offset tab. You have the ability to put in a vertical offset from every, anything that you're shooting with your rover through either vertical offset or an actual elevation. I'm gonna leave it on vertical offset to show you right now. So, as I set up on this hub right there, it's a fill of 135. What I'm gonna do for this one is just put in TBC and I'm gonna put in a vertical offset from where my rover's sitting of 1.35. So now I can shoot that, take the shot. I have this set to yes, so it comes back in here to verify. Now, when I go to the icon on my screen right there, you'll see that I've got a, a point right there. Let me go ahead and turn on point name so you can see it. In here, just to show you how a single point would work, if I touch and hold on TBC and go to stake point and then come back to that exact same spot, you can see I've got a fill of 135 right there. So it put in an offset as I shot that. So you can do that individually for a whole bunch of points through here without having to actually do the math, edit the numbers. The other thing you could do, I know this uh, curb line isn't straight through here, but you could, if it was a relatively straight shot, build your own TBC curb line by shooting each one of these and then offsetting that line in Kogo. I'll show you how to do that right now. So roller stuck in the mud, which is my measure type, new line, and you'll notice a new line, you've got the same vertical offset option. So I'm gonna leave this as brake line because I wanna actually use it possibly later on for a surface, but you could do it as a line feature if you needed. But I will call this one TBC also. Now. I'm gonna go back, set up on that hub. This one is still a fill of 135, and it still has a 135 in there because it was remembering what I did with point. I'm gonna go ahead and level up, and I'm gonna change this show every time to yes because I want it to ask me every time I go to a control, or excuse me, a TBC stake to actually let me go back in here and change that vertical offset. So since it's a fill, I'm gonna leave that as a positive 135. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my enter button. It'll bring me back in, and I say yes. So now I've got another point there. What we're gonna do is walk down this curb line. I'm just showing you this as an example. I know the curb's already been put in, but we can also verify and see how close they hit it. So now on this hub, you'll see that I'll set up on this one. And this one is a fill of 50. It's a three foot offset F of 0 0.50 intense to TBC. So what I'm gonna do is level up and I'm gonna hit the enter button, which will bring me back in here. Now I can put 0 0.50 as my vertical offset there and hit yes or accept. And then it'll take me there one more time and I can hit boom, take a shot. So there is a curve here. That's probably one thing that's not set up quite uh, yet in the data collectors is to do the horizontal curve for a TBC line. 
this would be something you would have to probably put it in a CAD version to actually put that in, but just to show you. I'm gonna set up on this one, and you'll see that this one is a three foot offset to um, fill of uh, 53. No, 57, sorry. So, level up, fill of 57, so I'm gonna put 0.57 for my vertical offset, level up, take the shot. Uh, we'll just take a couple more down here. This one is a three foot offset, but it's also indicating a, uh, a walkway right here. As you can see, we've got the, uh, the entrance for a walk across. So three foot offset, fill of 0 0.80 to top back a curb, 0 0.80, except, boom. We'll take two more here and then I'll show you how to offset that line over. So set up on the hub, three foot offset. This is a fill of 85, level up, 0.85 is my offset. Boom, boom. And then my very last one here, stakes laying on the ground, no big deal. That one is a fill of 86 with a, 30, or a three foot offset. So 0.86, boom, took the shot. So now let me show you how you could offset that line over to represent the actual three foot. Because right now as I took those that line, those all represent actual TVC, or excuse me, the three foot offset um, points, but we need to offset it over. So if you go into your menu here and go down to COGO, which is coordinate geometry, there's two options here at the top, review and edit data and create points. In create points and arcs, you'll see all, all these icons on the left side right here. If you're curious what any of them are, hit the uh, question mark and it'll tell you but if not, what you do is pick the one right here that's called Create Offset Line. So right off the bat, says Tap Line. So I'm going to tap it. And you can see the arrows are actually facing the way that I took that shot. We're going to hit Next. Now I'm going to leave it as a feature type because I'm not going to do a break line. I uh, actually will do a break line because that's what I had did over there on my original shots. I'm going to call it TBC1 for a name. Horizontal Offset is where I'm going to put three in there. And then my vertical offset, I only want it to offset over zero. I don't want it to go up or down from there. I'm gonna put it at zero and then hit accept. So now I've got a brand new line that is offset to the side. It gave me a little jog on the end, no big deal. But now I can touch and hold this new line and I can go to stake line. And I wanna start checking TBC. So I'm gonna to go to the icon there that gives me fixed or random and I put it on random. So as I go along this line, it's gonna be along it. So now, as you zoom in, it's got a little wowie on the end there, no big deal, but you can see that I'm inward and outward. I'm right on the back, top back of curb. These guys hit it pretty dang close right here. It's a cut of uh, seven hundredths, about a cut of an inch, a little bit high as they started around the corner, and it is in the right spot horizontally. Same thing, we'll come back here to another stake. We'll set up right on the back of the curb. Looks like we're within uh, two hundredths of back and they are right on grade. So that is how you can, for the one option to do vertical offsets for as you shoot points. Now that I've shown you how to do the offset from the top back of curb stakes that were three foot offsets to establish the top back of curb right here. Now that we've established where that is, I'm gonna show you how to offset from there to that lip of the gun if it didn't exist. What you need to know is how big your gutter is. So right here, I'm gonna measure. It's uh, two and a half feet, two and a half feet wide. And I've already established that the elevation change from the top back of curb to the lip is about 15 hundredths. So I'm gonna go back into Kogo, menu, Kogo, create points and offsets. And I'm gonna go back to that same offset. I'm gonna take the new line, which is the line that I had offset to establish TBC, select that, and now I'm gonna put in the name, I'm gonna put EOP, edge of pavement. Horizontal offset, I'm gonna put 2.5. And then vertical offset, you can change it from percentage, rise and run, degrees, all that. But in vertical offset, I'm gonna put in a minus 0.15. 
to establish that line. So now you can see I've got three different lines on there and we're good to go. So I'm gonna go out and now I'm gonna select this line. So if I touch and hold on it, you'll see that it says ELP. I can stake that line and now I can set up right on the edge and you'll see that boom, there's my two hundredths. Um, I'm, I'm in just a little bit, about two hundredths from the edge, just so I don't roll off the edge right there. It's about two hundredths in, and look at that. I got a cut of about an inch. So they're off just a little bit, right? Every pan comes out a little bit different. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that have changed since we've gone from the stake to here. And that's one more reason why a lot of guys will actually, after the curb and gutter or any concrete has been poured, they'll go shoot the lip of the gutter right here and actually establish a new grade to make a new model. Because there you can see I got a fill of nine hundredths, or excuse me, yeah, I'm just making an inch. Let's walk back up here a little bit. But I just want to show you how to control your own destiny here, you know? I took, I actually just made everything that you can see right here to the edge of the pavement off of stakes. I went from the stake, offset to the TBC, offset to edge, a lot of the stuff that you require to be done by someone in the office can be done out here. Look at that. Right there, I'm within about four hundredths horizontally, and the elevation is right on. So there again, hopefully this helps with, uh, with this portion of this, this training.